Hi everyone, I'm Swing. I'm a photographer and an art educator. Today, we are going to be making our very own magic wand. And we're going to make this using recycled materials. Before we do this, let's take a look at a sculpture named Untitled by Joseph McNally, which you can find in the National Gallery, Singapore. It's an intriguing sculpture, isn't it? How would you describe it to your friends? Do the straight and curly tubes remind you of a magic wand? Alright, let's take a look at the materials which we are going to need. Some unused disposable chopsticks. I found some disposable spoons, which are meant for dessert. Uh, there's a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, masking tape, point string, brushes, markers, acrylic paint, and palette. So the length of the usual disposable chopsticks is um, too short to make such a long magic wand. So we're going to make uh, an extension by using multiple pairs of them. Right? So I've got three pairs over here. And the very first thing I'm going to do is to tape it together so that it is a much longer wand. Alright, so let's try to assemble a few pieces of chopstick together using masking tape. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to take a masking tape and put a chopstick over it. And I'm going to put another chopstick over it like this with a bit of a gap. Right, and I'm going to put uh, one chopstick on top and wrap it. So we need one more. So a tad bit of tape. And let's put this together like this. So it may not be strong initially, but um, later with some tape that we wrap around, it will be stronger. I'm also going to add one more piece over here. So that's a tapered end, so I'll just put it around like that so it tapers. And because we have already secured one end, the other end would be easier to do. So now we have got a simple structure with a total of one, two, three, four, five chopsticks. All right, so we don't need this, let's put it away. Right, you don't have to use exactly the same uh, disposable spoons. This is what I can find at home. So if you can find other objects, just use those uh, you can find at home. By having this at the back, I can change the shape of the wand a bit. Again, using tape, I have uh, two pieces of uh, disposable spoon wrapped around like this. We need to reinforce the whole magic wand by having a lot more tapes. So what we're going to do is to really use tape to, to just wrap around the wand and it will get uh, stronger as a result too. Okay, you can slant it and wrap around. And those of you who play racket sports, or if your parents play racket sports, this looks a bit like the grip of the racket. The tape also gives us a surface to paint on later. It's okay, you know, if you make a mess of it, just uh, tear it away. Okay, I'm just going to continue doing this. So over here, let's uh, give it more tape so that there's a more of a taper. Going round and round and round. All right. Until we are at the top. And mm, basically the whole piece except for the plastic end is now wrapped quite securely with tape. So I've given it some extra tape to make it stronger. Right? And to make it more interesting, we're going to use uh, some twine string. Right? So we can make the handle of the magic wand. So we just start by tying a knot over here. Let me just adjust this a bit. Let me just keep turning it. Uh, apply some tension so that the strings are kept close together. You can push it together if you want. Maybe a bit longer. 
It's up to you how long this part of the handle you wish to be, right? So I think for me, quite happy with this length. Just use a pair of scissors and it's time to tie a knot. So I'll just tie a knot over here. And I can use a piece of tape to just tape the loose ends for both the top as well as the bottom. Alright, so this should give us some interesting texture and it also forms a grip. After we have done the string part for the handle, it's time to add a coat of paint for those parts which are exposed to the tape. I'm going to add uh, some yellow and blue and some yellow ochre. Let's create a maybe darker coat of paint for the base. Okay, we can add a bit of water. Okay, and we'll just apply the coat of paint on the parts where it is uh, masking tape. We have more or less painted the areas which are uh, covered with masking tape. Now I'm going to use a paint marker and maybe just draw some spirals here. It goes round and round and round on the disposable plastic spoons. Alright, so let me just put it on the other side and do the same. Round and round and so many spirals of this beautiful blue. There we have it. We are going to use a hot glue gun now to add some textures. Uh, please be very careful if you're using a hot glue gun because the tip over here is very hot. Uh, you may want to ask your parents to help you with this. What are we going to do? I am going to add some spiral lines or maybe some curvy lines uh, along the green parts of the magic wand. Right, so let's add some curvy lines. We can also turn it around to the other side. When the glue is dry, it adds a texture again for us to paint on. Right, there we have it. Alright, the glue from the hot glue gun has dried and let's paint onto the glue parts to give it a lighter colour so that there will be something contrasting. So let's uh, give it some light blue. Uh, use a dry brush for this and apply it flat so that the raised parts will get the paint. If you make a mistake and uh, get the paint onto the green parts that you do not uh, want, it's fine. We can always paint it back. We can see all the review or the raised parts are now light blue. All right, so we are finishing up on painting the raised parts created by the hot glue gun. I have added more white over here again so that we can see some contrast. There we have it. I hope you had enjoyed yourself creating your very own magic wand using recycled materials. Do come to the National Gallery Singapore where you can see the sculpture untitled by Joseph McNally. Continue to have fun and I'll see you.